Mike Harmon at the Wheelbarrel here in Topeka, Kansas. We're going to be making a blue cocktail for you today. Uh, to start out to get the blue, I'm going to use these uh, butterfly pea flowers that grow in the Himalayas. They're pretty much the only ingredient that gives a natural blue color. And we definitely try here to use as few, if any, artificial ingredients. Uh, we want to know everything that's in what we're serving you. All right, so as you can see, uh, that quickly went to a really nice blue hue. All right, so to do this cocktail, uh, it's gonna be very spirit heavy, uh, but we'll use a little of that water to kind of mellow it out so it's not an overpowering cocktail. Uh, the main ingredient in this is a yellow chartreuse. Uh, this recipe has been around for a century longer than the USA has been around. Uh, it's made from 120 different botanicals uh, that nobody except two monks know about. Uh, they're never allowed to travel at the same time just in case something happens. So we're gonna go three quarters of an ounce of this yellow chartreuse. Then we're gonna go half an ounce of this nice blended scotch. Uh, Monkey Shoulder is a perfect scotch for cocktails. Uh, price point's not too high. It won't disappear in the drink. It works really well. Uh, then we're gonna go another kind of old ingredient. This is a uh, Bold Yenever. It's the predecessor to gin as we know it today. This is gonna be a lot more dry than the gin that we drink today and it also is going to be way less focused on the juniper so you're not going to get that heavy juniper kick that a lot of gins have then to add a little bit of sweetness we're going to use this luxardo maraschino cherry liqueur just a quarter ounce of it just to add a little brightness to this cocktail and then to finish off this part literally just a quarter ounce of simple syrup. Uh, this really isn't to add sweetness. This is just to kind of blend those flavors together, thicken it up a bit, uh, bring out all the individual flavors. A lot like putting salt on a tomato will change the taste. Uh, the sugar is gonna add that aspect to the drink. Right, then we're just gonna add some ice here. Give it a nice stir for about 15 seconds. All right, then I'll grab a chilled Nick and Nora glass. All right, so there's a chilled Nick and Nora glass. Just gonna strain this cocktail straight in. Okay. And this should be leaving just enough room a little ice cube to go on top. And all this ice cube's really doing is giving something to pour this tea on top of. So we can get a nice blue finish on top. The idea of putting this butterfly pea flower tea on top is a lot of the heavy spirits that are in this drink. Uh, you will have this water on top to kind of mellow it as you go. So you get a drink of the tea and the cocktail at the same time, so it'll be a nice blend. And this is the butterfly effect that we have on the menu right now at the wheelbarrow. Uh, enjoy.